Hello dear students, welcome to Exeometry course. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR net June 2018 and we are doing this problem 44 of the section B. It's a problem of partial differential equation. Let us have a look. Let U be a unique solution of this partial differential equation provided Ux0 is fx, del U, del U by del T of x0 is 0 where f is is a function that satisfies this relation all right so what question is asking question is asking us about uh, u of 1 by 2 comma 5 by 4 so firstly i will show you a note all right because pde problem are mostly like this that you have to remember some formula and then you will find out its solution all right most of the problem are like that so i will show you that formula you have to remember it and using that formula you can solve it all right so let me show you so see this is your node that we were talking about it tells us the solution of a one dimensional wave equation so this is our one dimensional wave equation provided with these two initial conditions now what we what we are given with that solution is given like this all right so we will directly apply it so according to this u of xt will be 1 by 2 of all right so what is this nita so this is uh this is ux0 so what is ux0 in your problem it is f so f of x plus now what is c c is 1 x plus t plus f of x minus t plus 1 by 2 c so what is c c is 1 so just uh write it 1 so you will get x minus t x plus t and we have v what is our v v from this is zero so it will be zero so you will get u of x t is equal to one by two times of f of x plus t plus f of x minus t so this is what we are getting so what we have to find out we have to find out one by 2 comma 5 by 4 so if you will write all right this is our solution let us highlight it this is our solution so u of 1 by 2 comma 5 by 4 if you will find it out you will get this 1 by 2 times of f of 7 by 4 all right plus c just replace everything here all right 7 by 4 my uh, plus f of minus 3 by 4 now this this is what we needed but in the option c we don't have this type of answer so what we have to use now we have to use this what is given to us so it is given to us that f of x plus 1 is equal to fx this is given to us now this implies that f of minus 3 by 4 is same as f of minus 3 by 4 plus 1 using this thing all right i am using this so f of minus 3 by 4 is equal to f of minus 3 by 4 plus 1 so it is f of 1 by 4 all right now uh, it is given to us that fx is um, x of 1 minus x all right so it will be 1 by 4 all right the condition on this is that x is in 0 1 we we cannot use directly unless our x is in 0 1 so firstly what i did see this is negative so i cannot write directly using this formula we have to make it positive using this thing that was given to us now using this thing we made it positive now f of 1 by 4 i can write so it will be 1 by 4 uh what is it what is 1 minus 1 by 4 so let me write so 1 minus 1 by 4 so this will be your f of minus 3 by 4 now f of 7 by 4 also lies outside 0 comma 1 so you have to bring it back so what you will do you will just write 7 by 4 as 1 plus 3 by 4 so see it is 7 by 4 now according to uh, uh what we have done we have written it as 1 plus okay all right so we have done this now what uh all right so wait a second yes so it is according to this thing 
it is equal to f of 3 by 4 f of x plus 1 is equal to f so I, w I get confused all right so 1 plus x is x so f of 3 by 4 what we are getting now it is less than 1 so we can apply this so what we will get 3 by 4 1 minus 3 by 4 so you will get 1 by 4 so you you are getting 3 by 16 from here from here also you are getting 3 by 16 so what will be your answer then 3 by 16 plus 3 by 16 will be 6 by 16 so it will be 3 by 8 so finally what we will get i think we will, uh, if you will place this and this in this you will get 3 by 16 as your answer are you getting my point so that means the third option that you are given with is the correct option and all the other remaining options are false so see how easy is to solve this problem once you know this d'alembert solution all right this is also called d'alembert solution so if you have any doubt you can always ask in the comment section if you have any other doubt you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description part of the video all right so thank you